I mean, this year, I mean, we're, I'm always about shining that light bright and, uh, you know, getting out there and being vocal and standing up for causes. But this year it means a little bit more. I mean, everyone needs to stand together with everything going on and, um, you know, just feel like the more people that come out, the more people that band together, we hopefully other people will see what's really going on and that, you know, the Jewish community is not the evil community that they want to brand it as and that, you know, it's all about peace and love. Uh, it's the world's largest menorah and Hanukkah is my favorite holiday. I always have like a Hanukkah dinner with my friends because my family lives in Texas and other parts of the United States and so every year I do a big Hanukkah dinner with my friends and my partner and it's my favorite holiday and this being the world's largest menorah in the world and we're in New York, I'm back home so I wanted to come out and show my support and show my love of the holiday and my love of my people. And you know, it's it's a beautiful beautiful thing. We love uh, we love our Jewish friends and our Jewish heritage uh, as as uh, Christians, and that's uh, seems like a really special time to be in New York celebrating Christmas and Hanukkah. So very proud to be here this evening. It's a privilege. <laughs> On behalf of President Biden, my wife, Vice President Harris, First Lady, I want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah. Now look, normally this is a time of celebration and joy. I want us to celebrate Hanukkah. And I know right now that might seem a little far-fetched to some of you. I know you're in pain. I'm in pain. I know a lot of us are feeling unmoored and afraid. We've not seen anything like this moment, and I know it's scary. When Jews are targeted because of their beliefs or identity, and when Israel is singled out because of anti-Jewish hatred, that is anti-Semitism, and it must be condemned. And condemned unequivocally and without context.
On behalf of President Biden, my wife, Vice President Harris, and First Lady, I want to wish everyone a happy Hanukkah. I know you're in pain. I'm in pain. I know a lot of us are feeling unmoored and afraid. We've not seen anything like this moment, and I know it's scary. We've seen the presidents of some of our most elite universities literally unable to denounce calling for the genocide of Jews as anti-Semitic. That lack of moral clarity is simply unacceptable. When Jews are targeted because of their beliefs or identity, and when Israel is singled out because of anti-Jewish hatred, that is anti-Semitism and it must be condemned. And condemned unequivocally and without context. Because of their leadership, more than 100 hostages, including four Americans, are home. We will continue to do all we can to reunite the hostages with their family members. And the common denominator of these conversations is that we feel alone, we feel hated, we feel we're in pain. But we also talk about how we can rededicate ourselves, how we can recommit ourselves to our pride and our love of being Jewish. And that concept of, of dedication, rededication, I believe, is the meaning of Hanukkah.